Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. This video is going to be covering a little bit of news that we got recently over the Christmas break, which is about China and their crackdown on virtual loot boxes and things of that nature. I wanna give a quick disclaimer that I am a silly American, so it's a little bit difficult to gather solid information on a topic like this, but I tried to do a decent bit of research and figure out what the impact of this legislation would have on the CS market. So let's take a look at our sponsor, Skin Auctions, and then get straight into the video. The sponsor for today's video is Skin Auctions. Skin Auctions is a great way to spice up your your normal buying and selling process, mostly because you can literally get skins on here for 90% off. No, like, actually, this happens all the time. I was surprised too. I know that sounds suspicious, but I actually know the people behind this, it's fully legit. So here's how it works. First, you wanna head over to the free bids page and you can go ahead and collect daily free bids. If you're one of the first, you can use this code for a little bonus or you can do some easy tasks to get free bids. After that, you'll want to head over to the deposit page so you can start bidding. There's quite a few different deposit options, including CSGO items. Once you get topped up, you can head over to the auctions page to pick out some items that you want to bid on. You can either bid normally once the auction starts, or you can use a feature called Bidmo. Bidmo lets you automate your bids on items, so you can go to the upcoming auction section and use Bidmo if you're not going to be there for the actual auction. You can get all kinds of things, liquid skins or even some knives, so it's definitely worth checking out skin auctions using my link in the description below. Okay, so when getting into this, one of my first questions was basically, who is actually proposing this legislation? And at least according to Reuters, they claim that it's just Chinese regulators. Now that is kind of a broad term, but we can at least assume that they have some level of political power. Now in terms of how Chinese laws work, it's a little bit weird. Basically, there's just like one big giant group that handles all of the laws. They're called the NPC, which is a little ironic if you think about it. But anyway, let's tear into this gaming ban. So a generalization of what's going to happen if this goes into effect is that there's going to be a ban on things like login rewards and bonuses for people that are buying stuff for the first time, and basically anything that incentivizes spending repeatedly on a game. So things like loot boxes, for example. Now, a lot of people were talking about this loot box point because it meant that Chinese players of CS2 wouldn't be able to purchase cases anymore. But after digging into this, it appears that this only applies to miners. In terms of the demographic of CS2 collectors, at least, and people that are actually opening large swaths of cases, from what I can tell, that demographic is not mostly made up of miners, it's mostly made up of people that are of the age of majority. So at least for the loot box ban part of this, I don't think it's really going to be that major of a problem. Now there is one open-ended and really concerning part of this, which basically talks about a ban on the speculation and auctioning of items. Now unfortunately, because this hasn't been implemented yet, we don't really know the full effect of something like this, but this is probably the most concerning thing for the CS market itself because this could kind of be applied to mean that they can't use things like buff anymore. And that would be a really big deal, not just for China, but for the rest of the market. And we know how strong China's impact on prices has been, so this would definitely be a pretty big arrow to the knee. Also, one more thing about the loot box portion of this, it seems that there's a part of this legislation that allows for basically the x-ray scanner to be a thing, so that at least is a good sign. When this legislation was first announced about a week ago, we saw some pretty big drops on the big gaming company stocks like Tencent and NetEase. And a side note on that, NetEase is actually the company that owns buff by the way, so definitely some concern there. It is important to note that the people that own a large amount of shares that can really move the market in big ways are not really going to be young people that are really invested in games, so generally speaking, a lot of these stock market movements that happen because of these announcements are kind of over-exaggerated. Now, I wanted to add that I did see some sort of an update on Twitter about this gaming ban that seemed like they were kind of not going to do it because of the share price drops, but unfortunately for the life of me, I can't find that tweet again. Also, I found this article from a day ago that basically reinforces that these regulations are still going to happen, so if you saw the same tweet as me, it seems to be misinformation. Our friendly neighborhood Chinese gamers are still probably facing the full brunt of this. So what impact would this actually have on the CS market? Now, assuming these regulations actually get put into effect, which they probably will because China does have a pretty good track record of banning games and limiting people's time on them, I do think the scariest part of these regulations is the part about speculation and auctioning items. It really depends on how that regulation is actually applied to the CS market. We could have sort of a doomsday-ish scenario where it shuts down huge markets like Buff, and that would really be a big deal because it would not only de incentivize Chinese players from buying skins in general, but it would also kind of just outright ban them from doing it at all. And we've seen so many times before how much effect Chinese money has on the CS market. So if the regulation were to be applied in that way, it would be pretty bad. We'd most likely see some pretty large declines. However, that is sort of an extreme scenario. It's not something that's impossible to happen, but I do think it's unlikely. As for the rest of these regulations, I don't really think there's anything too major that'll really shut down market movements, but they could potentially cause problems with our publisher, Perfect World, if they want to get out of the space due to a decrease of profits because of less loot boxes or no loot boxes being sold. So that's my personal analysis on the situation. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. It helps me immensely and costs you absolutely nothing. Subscribe to the channel for the best CS2 investment tips and CS2 news anywhere else on YouTube. Be sure to check out my Discord server and my Twitter. We have a great community over there, and I can answer all your questions completely for free, as long as I have time. And be sure to check out Skin Auctions. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Peace.